This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Whitney Miller. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Two kids are fighting for their lives after a quadruple shooting in Westwood Saturday night. That shooting happened at about 6 p.m. at McHenry and Cavanaugh Avenues near Ream Markets in Westwood. In addition to the children, two men, both in their late teens, were also shot. Their injuries were not life threatening. Police haven't made any arrests or named any suspects so far. Kentucky State Police and Newport Police closed a popular shopping center earlier today. It all happened less than a mile from Interstate 471. Here's an aerial look of the scene from Sky 9. It's still unclear what exactly led up to this expansive scene. Along with Kentucky State Police, Newport, Covington and Kenton County deputies and officers were also present. From what we were able to gather, there was a crash involving an older gray Chevy sedan. One of our local spellers is moving on to the next round in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. 11 year old Tara Rakish from Florence Kurt correctly spelled both of her words and successfully answered her vocabulary question. In yesterday's preliminary rounds, two other tri state children, 12 year old Sahana Shrikanth from Mason and 13 year old Angelina Schmier from of Westchester miss their final word. Rakesh now advances to the quarterfinals on Tuesday. And with a check of your weather, here's Sherry. Hey there, Whitney. We are seeing uh, some quieter conditions as we go through the evening and overnight. We're going to be down into the lower 60s. Uh, mostly clear skies out there. That low 60 is very seasonable for us this time of the year. Now, we did get some showers and storms uh, as we went through the day, mainly in some of our northern Kentucky and also southwest Ohio counties there. But as we get up in the morning, we're going to see dry conditions. We'll see a lot of sunshine. There could be maybe a shower that could be sparked over in some of our eastern communities, maybe Maybe around three to four o'clock, but most areas will be dry. We'll have less humidity as well as temperatures going down. We're talking about having those numbers starting out in the 60s and ending up at around 85 to 87 for highs.